Today is Friday, April 27th, and here's the garden update for the, for this week. And everything looks like it's going pretty well. Um, I did some beans. I'll do a video of it shortly, but uh, some pennel beans. Well, I'll go ahead and tell it now. <laughs> it saves some space, I guess. I got some pennel beans. Uh, uh, one of my lady at work had some pennel pennel beans in a grocery store bag. You know, kind of get at a grocery store a little that you can make it home. And uh, seen it laying in there, and I decided to take it home. And uh, boss man told me, yeah, I, he didn't think it was gonna grow. And I said, well, we're gonna see what's gonna gonna happen. So what I did was came in here and put them in the sprinkle them into the ground and they're starting to pop up now look at all this there's pennel beans from the grocery store some of them look kind of scraggly uh, look at that patch now I never grew no pennel beans so I don't know what to expect uh, I don't know if they grow like my Kentucky Wonder beans which are growing everywhere right there you got the beans on there it's gotten bigger since the last update Nice big old beans on there, getting big, loading up. I don't want to pick them just yet. They're doing pretty good, look at that. Should have planted some more of them. Well, I do. I, I thought the other ones I planted over here were bush beans, but they're, they're Kentucky Wonders because they got the little vines on it also. It is taking a little longer. But they got the little vines attaching itself over here. It's taking their time, but I might go ahead and make a little trellis. See if they spread like those over there. But my squash is, I went ahead and did the grass clippings mulch, and they seem to like that stuff. Getting a lot, a lot bigger now. It's like the weirdest. Like they start getting big down here and small down there, and the same way over here is like big. They get a little small, but they 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 pull through. Right now, I haven't seen any kind of bugs out here. Any kind of evidence of eating up stuff, but um, I want to be prepared for that this time. Get me some seven dust and stuff like that to keep those nasty bugs away. There's that kale. It's gotten we're a lot bigger now. Here's my tomatoes. I went ahead and put them in last week, last Saturday. You got a kit. I got a couple um, okra in there too, but looking nice and green. I went ahead and did the pine straw and grass clippings. Not glass clippings, grass clippings. <laughs> I don't know if I should do that with the okra right now. They're kind of small still, but um, they're coming up, but they're just slow growing. Whatever did pop up, corn's doing good. It laid down a couple of times because it has a had a couple of rain shower a couple of days ago, but got some casualties. It ain't growing good enough, but they doing lettuce, the iceberg lettuce. They, looks like I got four in there. Doing pretty good. And my cantaloupes, they getting bigger. They need to hurry up. They ain't taking too long. Some butternut squash. They, they, they kind of slow too. They look kind of light. They might be magnesium. Might need some magnesium. Some what you call that stuff? Uh, yep, some salt. I need to put that down. I need to do something because they they grow them, but they're just taking their time. Usually they start spiking in you know, uh, growth eventually. What it did last time. Um, cucumbers coming back, getting bigger. They can't, they can't wait to get up this thing. Look like they want to. He's trying their best to get up there. Other ones too. They, they see that line. They want to get up there. Well, it looks like the the leaves I put in here are keeping some kind of moisture. And um, 
Mary Gold's last my last video I did a couple of days ago. They only had two leaves. Now they all got to the, get the three, four leaves, five, six. This thing's got a unique smell. They got a um. Oh, you can smell them. I just I don't know. It's they're not bad, but it ain't good. <laughs> but um, these, you ever eat a clover? You can actually eat clovers. They got like a like a lemon taste to it. Especially these little bulbs, they taste like lemons. You see, even when I was a kid, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm supposed to, but the kids who say they eat this clover, eat good clover. No, I don't stuff eating clover, but it tastes good. It tastes like lemons. Probably why the deer like them. And here's some more kale. Like Y'all probably seen on my past videos. It's, uh, I transplanted these a while back in the winter time from the root that was just left over, poking out the garden like my kale down there bam they're looking beautiful now i should have just kept the other ones and let them keep growing because man this is nice pretty pretty green kind of smell like collards i can't remember what it's i can't i still can't remember what the name of this kind is like dragon something i don't know here's that pretty the traditional looking kale down there he's getting bushy nice found a frog today made him a little house he hiding in there look at that Likes that house. A little bug coming here, tear it up. And my peppers, habaneros. They look like they perked up a little bit since I put them back here. I went ahead and did the same thing, but I had some hay from the compost bin mixed in with the grass clippings and all that. So I think they're gonna, they're looking pretty promising. Hope they are, because I can't wait to let people try them out. Burn their mouths out. Everything else looks like it's, they're attaching the greenness back to the silk because they was getting kind of yellow, but now they're nice and green, getting greener. And I'm getting some little babies on here. Look at that Kenyan, or cayenne pepper, or whatever you want to call it. They're starting to grow the peppers on there. All these, a couple of these already got the peppers on it. I don't let them grow them. I take them off when they get a little too big because I don't want all the energy being depleted for for just a cup, you know, one or two peppers i'll see how they taste i want some hot peppers man and i got the uh, anaheim's right here i got the bell peppers right there if you're watching this video mom you better you better have the bell peppers inside the planter next time i come over to your house because i'll be mad <laughs> you better have you better have them in a planter and my cherry bombs they already got a couple new babies on there I don't know. I don't know if I should take them back off again or not. Let's see what see what happens. I'll probably just leave them on there. Let them just let them do it. We'll, we'll see what goes. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. Still debating. Lettuce. I went ahead and chopped some of this up. It's looking real. Lettuce are ugly. It's very ugly when it bolts. Look at this thing. It was all bushy like this one down here. I guess the rain hit it too much. Can he can he hold up his weight? Look at this thing. It's like a monster. So it's all just bolting. It was pretty good. They got a lot of milk in there though. A lot of um yeah. Take off a leaf in it. A lot of milk. That's some good stuff to made on a sandwich. Smells good. Good compost. This marigold, he shot up big time. I'm glad I left him in the ground. Look at that. Pretty flowers. They will bring butterflies too. That helps out the garden. Butterflies and bees. That's what you want. But well, that's the update. Besides the spaghetti squad camping out over here. I'll let y'all see them again, see how big they done got. Looks like he went, him and the bat's kind of struggling. Maybe got some, what you call it, too much shade from these or other honeysuckles back there growing in here. 
But uh, let's, I'm gonna leave them, let them go at it. Get some spaghetti squash. I never had, I never grew it before. Let's see if it, let's see if my peas start doing something over here. I did throw some in the ground from some pods. So let's see if they're doing it. No, there's some dried up ones. But I did throw some under this dirt. So peas, I tell you. Them things, if you got a if you got a seed, throw it in the ground. It's like the beans over there. They're gonna come up. Cause I I had peas all over the garden when I started tilling again after the winter time or during the winter. Peas still coming up. Peas are pretty cool. It's a nice thing to grow. They can grow up trellises also, or you can just have the tomato cage or just little sticks like this. I need to tie these off. I haven't tied them off. It's been like a little wind they've been helping with the wind but i haven't tied them but uh yeah peas are gr growing stuff just like that and they grow pretty high they grow the size of that trail is right there a little higher the size of this one yeah, that's a that's a garden update for today got a lot of work to do tomorrow at work with the event so y'all take care and have a good weekend